Hello, beautiful souls. How are you? I am doing my first divine feminine that I'm going to showcase. These are the divine feminine ascendant masters that are a part of the Sophia dragon tribe. If you miss my first video, it just launched. Um, and so it's the first of seven. This is about Isis. Isis has been quite an enigma for many people. <clears throat> if you only believe what you've ever heard about her, you don't know anything about Isis. Um, Isis is a very loving, powerful, benevolent divine feminine who, like most divine feminines, were not, the truth was not ever told about her. And it's glaringly obvious when I get into her details and what she brings to the table, why she is another divine feminine that was put on the list of let's ruin her reputation. Let's make sure no one looks to her for guidance because she's way too strong for the women to find out that they too have that power inside them. Now, <clears throat> I want you to please... Move away from the ego, move away from the mind, allow your heart to guide this and receive it. If it feels right to you, it is. If it feels wrong, it's not for you at this time and it may not ever be. That's okay. Honor that. For me, Isis is one of those divine feminines that comes in strong. She tends to have the same overwhelming uh, baseline message and that is, I intend to clear my name. I intend to clear the record and I, I intend to, to set it straight. It needs to be done. But in doing so, I'm going to continue to help the divine feminine rise. That's her focus. If your focus is understanding the divine feminine and allowing it to become embodied in your being more so than a catchphrase or a hashtag, I invite you to connect with Isis. She's powerful. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's all the things wrapped up into one. Many of us wish we we were in our earthly lives. I think most of us have fallen short of those goals. I know I did. But now I understand how much power I have. And I have decluttered my physical space and my mental space. And so life is much, much easier, much clearer. So without further ado, let's get into it. Isis, Divine Feminine Ascendant Master. She of a thousand names. <clears throat> Divine Feminine Ascendant Master, teacher, auricular activism, and devoted to advocate for Mother Earth. My Sophia embodiment title is She of a Thousand Names, as I am honored throughout the ages with countless names of adoration and respect that reflect my many roles as a spiritual guide for the multi-dimensional empowerment. <clears throat> my mentoring your highest potential is my greatest honor. For your own participation as a leader in this current global awakening is vitally important. When you look at me as a mentor, it is important to understand that I was a woman first. I'm going to stop right here. This was her first message to me. Remember that I was a woman first. I was a mother. I was a wife. I, I grew up with siblings. I have sisters. And if you only listen to what they, air quotes, say about her, you never get that side of her. I invite you to receive my human journey story as a mirror for the same miraculous potential that exists within you. And that is a passage found in the Sophia Code. Isis is one of the foremost goddesses of ancient Egyptian pantheon, a high priestess, goddess, and mother, all in one. Isis is strongly associated with the energies of the moon, magic, love, and conquering the underworld. The underworld is also known as Middle Earth. We, as my crew, the Delphinus crew, 
has helped to liberate Middle Earth. And it is a much better environment now. Isis is the daughter of Earth God Jeb and Sky Goddess Nut. Isis carries energy of both Earth and Sky. Osiris is God of the Underworld. And Isis's twin flame soul, that energy essence that is her twin flame, walked in Osiris. <clears throat> Osiris is by birth her brother and by soul essence, which is the truest form of the being, her twin flame. So there were some who in their own family, there was a lot of brother, sister, cousin marriages. But for Isis, that wasn't okay. It was used as a platform to besmirch their relationship, their love. They doubled down on that platform and attacking her, trying to keep Isis and Osiris from activating each other in their powers. The truth is, <clears throat> this is why they killed Osiris. They thought that by dismembering his body, that that would end his power because they are very short-sighted. They didn't realize the energy can't be destroyed. It can only be transformed. The energy is what she connected with. And him being the God of the underworld gave her the ability to transcend death and he was resurrected. <clears throat> In truth, her magic and their magic was already activated because of the twin flame connection on an energetic ba basis. And that's the thing. When you connect with your twin flame in whatever dimension they're in, in whatever place on the planet they're in, you are connected by a cord, an energetic cord that can't be broken unless you the two beings discern determined to break it. So the same thing happened with multiple twin uh twin flame unions where they thought if they killed one or both that they ended them and they don't because they just don't appreciate the power of the energy body and the essence the true essence being the soul. So that lived on energy was transformed and they continue to be together forevermore <clears throat> isis can only help us when we ask her for it she can help us be reborn after a challenging situation or a difficult transition if you ever find yourself in a dark space isis can help you transcend fear and despair or depression to reemerge into the light. Isis is a keeper of magical energy. She is dedicated to help those who feel called to connect with their inner magic, their inner priestess, which, ding, ding, that would be why she was public enemy number one. She teaches that magic isn't something that comes to us. It's not something that comes to you from outside of you, but it's an energy that is awakened from within. Just like the truth, it's all been inside you all along. She's particular, particularly drawn to those stepping in and honoring their feminine energy. So now you know why you never heard the truth about Isis. Yeah. Anytime, whether it be Isis or Maggie or Quan Yin, anytime... There was a push for women to recognize their divine feminine power and step into that role and stand in their sovereignty and their truth. Well, that threatens the narrative. That threatens the patriarchal culture that they wanted us to be controlled within. So now you know. It's pretty much just like everything else. The truth gets inverted because they don't want you to know that the power has been within, within you the whole time. Through connecting with Isis, we can access the power of the moon 
initiate the priestess inside us. Isis helps us to claim our power and to know that when we heal and we become strong and powerful and disciplined, the souls that we transform into, it is very important to keep balance in all things. Isis is a goddess who works with the underworld, aka Middle Earth. Isis will show us aspects of ourselves that need to be faced, reclaimed, transformed, and healed. Everything in the shadows will be brought to light so that we can become the greater vessel for healing of light and magic. Isis is known for and can be contacted with help to do, to face your shadows, claiming your inner magic, connecting to the power of the moon and the stars, move through challenging situations, and honoring the power of the feminine. Now, I connected with Isis today. Um, she is extremely excited, stoked. Uh, it is her goal always, every day, to spread truth, her truth and the truth. <clears throat> They're not all that different. But again, because they did such a great, you know, disinformation campaign that it takes a lot of people speaking the truth for it to be heard. This is the channel message from ISIS. I am both humbled and honored that you would choose to tell my story and the truth. The truth of my story and the truth of our stories have been covered up for centuries. The relationship I have with Osiris is a love misunderstood and judged, and I want to correct that. Although it's not my primary focus, <clears throat> it needs to be corrected, and I'm grateful that you are willing to do this with me. I want to let your audience know how much power they have within them. When they choose to question and when they allow themselves to wonder what the truth is, this is what removes the shackles placed upon them and placed upon the divine feminine in the past. The truth is right there waiting to be discovered. It may look different. It may be a surprise, but feel the power within themselves to find their truth. This reclaims their power and prevents the past from repeating. I am so grateful for this opportunity. The divine feminine is returning. The divine feminine is rising. The divine feminine is remembering their power. The next few years in your timeline will be full of divine feminine miracles. Isis. So if you're feeling like you resonate with Isis and you resonate with her teachings, maybe you just want to know more about her, I recommend a few things. Definitely, if you have not read the Sophia Code, I recommend it ebook or physical book, whatever your preference is, there's a lot of wisdom in there and there's a lot of pearls that can be taken into your daily life to help you navigate this crazy world. The other thing is you can come to violetlotusenergy.com and sign up for a QET session if you have not already had one. That's the first step. Then you can get an ISIS activation where she works with you one-on-one -on -one and there's three different levels that you can work through on that activation with her. She's a beautiful being. She has a lot to offer. The mystery schools were her vibe and her tribe. And she is working with all of us to bring that back in a big way for a new earth. So I hope that this message finds you well. And that you look upon Isis and Osiris as divine masculine, divine feminine mentors that can help us navigate a crazy world. And I'll see you again next time.